Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the Bundesliga review. Yes, only one Bundesliga, although there are still four Austrian teams down there, but now we've put the focus all on Germany because Austria is already in the winter break. However, Germany is also going on the winter break, but it's much shorter than in Austria. Uh, in Austria, I think it is mid-February. Given the weather and the mountains, I mean, last year, last year they tried to kick it again in January and there were uh, three or four games postponed. So it makes total sense to have it this way in Austria. Uh, in Germany, the weather is mostly milder because, you know, not as high altitude uh, grounds most of the time. So I think they're already starting uh, and we'll get to that, yeah, um, <laughs> last in, uh, the second weekend of January in a way. Um, it's also a weird round that the two games that probably most would expect the Bayern at the door Tottenham game. I actually didn't see or hardly saw anything of these, but I saw quite some interesting other things. And yeah, we have to address. I'm wearing. It is really hard, but I think this is at least the second best uh, German jersey that I have. I would venture number one goes to this one, but number two, this Hertha jersey is special, and I have not been wearing Hertha I think all season long. They fully deserve to be worn uh, in many ways. It's also the only blue team, and this doesn't even look all the blue that I have there. I would say let's get started. I mean, it started on Friday evening with Bayern to Wall 4, Wolfsburg 0. I, there is really not much more than I can add. I totally expected that Wolfsburg is trending downward big time. At the moment, they had a slight rise after Kofeld come, come in, and now they continue to lose and i think they will have a rather tough winter break coming up and yeah it goes to show that oliver glaser did outstanding work with that squad and they could not build on that and he moved on to frankfurt which is basically uh <laughs> should be the next game that uh, that, that, that we will we, we'll, we'll be looking at uh oh yeah let's go frankfurt they get another win and Frankfurt actually go uh, higher up. They win the derby thanks to Lindstrom goal uh, against Mainz. Nice assist by Boré. I think it was a rather even game. It was more like a little bit of a fluke that that game had a win. It was a nervous, nervous game, not many chances. But in the end, Frankfurt win the derby against Mainz. And um, after starting the season so-and-so, they pick up speed and have now won quite a, quite a few games. Um, also, Greiter uh, in Augsburg, nil-nil, a game that nothing happened. A lot happened between Hoffenheim and Gladbach. Uh, Gladbach definitely giving a sign of uh, life with Mbolo, giving them the lead. Uh, they even had some chances to uh, extend that lead. Uh, but then later on, it definitely was that Hoffenheim was pressing and then they get the, the goal through Akpoguma and had to hold on for that one point. Uh, yeah, it was... A nervy end. Um, I would have loved to see Gladbach get the win, but you know, a point at Hoffenheim, who have not been in bad form as as, as they step, it's definitely nothing to sneeze at. The big shocker up until the evening was, of course, Leipzig losing at home to Bielefeld and it completely being deserved. Uh, Bielefeld did not have many, many shots, but whatever shots they got, they put them into the net. Uh, pretty impressive. I mean, Sarah uh, gives in 57th. Then uh, Fabian Klose is sent off for a tackle where I have to I have to say this was nothing like the Kane tackle uh, against uh, Liverpool. However, Kane did not. So uh, Fab, Fabian Klose, I think it is all right that it was a red card. However, what I have to, I think that the ref that then that it was via VAR because it was first a yellow. I think it was a not too serious enough tackle to go to VAR, but you know, that's my own feeling. I didn't mention what got oh Kugawa a few minutes later makes it 2-0 Leipzig completely despondent. And it's a huge win for Bielefeld, who very much looked like a relegation candidate. Uh, for most of, of the season, but they're picking up the pace again, and let's see where this will take them. I would love if they could stay in, just for a simple reason. I really would like to get their current home jersey and carry it for forward um, to the next season. Yeah, completely self self serving. Uh, the only thing I saw of Hertha Dortmund was a little bit of the first half, and then 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 the end where Dortmund had a one 0 lead. However, I think expected goal was one point one seven to point three or something like that. 
with the branch of seemingly a fluke will go with uh, Hertha having multiple chances that they could, couldn't convert, maybe even uh, one or two seasons. However, in the second half, it completely turned. Hertha uh, getting a 3 1 lead, and only very late on, Tigas can pull one back. A uh, result that was actually a little bit flattering to Dortmund, Dor- 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 and actually giving you again the full picture that I had. We have seen as, as, as flattered. Bayern, uh, if they play bad, they at least get a draw. If not, a win, uh, snatch it out. Dortmund defensively are absolutely bad and they rely on very young talent to lift them. The veterans that they've been with, Hummels and um, uh, Emre Can, they're not up for it. They are, uh, they are not worthy being Dortmund players at this moment, I gotta say. And yeah, it definitely shows on the pitch. Then, uh, nominally the top game of the weekend was between Freiburg and Leverkusen. That's another thing. Freiburg not only beat Leverkusen, Freiburg finished the first half of the season in third spot. That's pretty outstanding. They took the lead through grief for a penalty, were large, large better team. Uh, Rangis gives Leverkusen then the equalizer in the game is kind of, you know, level, level, not, very, um, how to say, I, I, I followed most of the second half. It, uh, no team really wanted to risk too much. It was kind of, yeah, I don't, I don't want to say timid, but you know, the draw is probably, is probably right. And then very, very late on, uh, Schade scores the winner for Freiburg at a win that takes them right up to third place uh, out of six. So pretty amazing stuff there. And then my Köln beat my Stuttgart. <laughs> I actually, I'm, I'm finding myself more and more to be uh, really the Köln is the favorite team for me in Germany uh, for some reason. But, you know, I still have uh, Stuttgart, uh, Frankfurt, Bremen, um, Schalke. Those are still my my teams, but at the moment it's current Stutz, Stuttgart, yeah, I, I found some, some love for Frankfurt as of late as well. And of course Freiburg, who can forget about Fre- Freiburg, Fre- Fre- Freiburg is one of those cool teams. Um, so we have winter break, uh, it means that, you know, Bayern is on nine points, it's clear, uh, there's no way that Bayern are not going to win this title. Uh, I, I think the most interesting, I think even Dortmund will finish safely in second. Uh, I think the most interesting, who will uh, snatch the Champions League spots with Freiburg and Hoffenheim, probably not too uh, badly positioned there, but, you know, don't uh, underestimate Eintracht Frankfurt, I think they could pick up the pace uh, as well, but there's lots to play. I'm not sure if Leipzig will make it, although they still have given him 29% chance. Um, when we come, come back, we basically see the um, uh, return round from what we had in the first, first round German Bundesliga with Bayern Munich uh, starting it against Gladbach again. That was a whole lot more fun in the first round than uh, it, it, it is now. Uh, there is... Um, a Hoff- nah, uh, Leipzig against Mainz and of course Frankfurt against Dortmund that sounds very promising in many ways so yeah that was it for this year from the Bundesliga I do wanna uh, I've made the graphs I probably will uh, compact them in a couple of videos and probably that for Christmas Day this might be some uh, good watching uh, where I put you know the um, <laughs> Christmas um, review of the performances of each team uh, in eight separate videos. This could be actually fun to do. In any case, uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, Have a wonderful day.